All right, so solving this problem, uh, I must use the left to make it look like the right. So common denominator is sine cosine, so we get um, sine squared theta, uh, uh, multiplying sine across the top there, plus sine theta cosine theta minus sine theta cosine theta minus cosine squared theta. So these cancel out, and I'm left with sine theta cosine theta on top. So sine theta cosine theta. Sorry. All right, sine theta cosine theta. Um, so I can break this down further to sine squared theta over sine theta cosine theta. And then, let's see here. Actually, you know what? Um, I'm going to turn this into 1 minus sine sin squared theta. So we end up with a sine squared theta. And this should be plus. So this becomes plus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, and I don't even have to do this anymore. If that's a plus, I'm sorry. I don't want to do this video again, but I'm just making small errors because this minus, it, it converts us to a plus when we get the common denominator. <coughs> so this becomes one. Yeah, that makes sense. So just need to find out what I need to get this to work. So one over sine theta and then one over cosine theta, which is this, well, one over sine theta times one over cosine theta which is the same thing as just saying um, cosecant theta times secant theta, or, well, they're, it's, which is exactly what we have above. They're just ordered differently. Okay, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.